today we're going to talk about gouache. So gouache I like to think of is if acrylic and watercolor got together and had a baby. And gouache is a medium. It comes like watercolor in a watercolor tube. Winsor & Newton is actually my favorite. Arteza is a nice, less expensive option that comes from with some unique colors that are uh, muted, which is lovely. Um, I put together a palette. The way you use gouache is you take a spray bottle and you're going to get it very wet. And I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but I haven't laminated. This is my new palette I just put together. I poured them yesterday. They were nice and gooey and you want to work with them gooey. And um, I put the palette together yesterday. I'm going to set this to the side since I haven't laminated it. So I don't want to ruin my palette. And um, yeah, so it's water soluble. And what that means is it re-wets like watercolor, but it's matte, which is different than watercolor. So it's kind of like a matte acrylic and it layers very thickly if used that way over top of it, each other like acrylic can. You can also thin it out like watercolor. So to me, it's the best of both worlds and it's a definitely a different experience. Something I want to talk about is there's some other gouache-like products. For example, there is Holbein's Acrylic Gouache. When it says Acrylic Gouache, what this is is really a satin finished acrylic paint. This will not re-wet. It will not act like watercolor. You can thin it out. But if I poured this into my palette, it would just permanently dry and permanently be there. I'd have to pry it out with a palette knife and that would make me feel sad. So acrylic wash is not something you would want to add to your palette. You would want to stick with a straight gouache. Now um, Holbein does make a regular gouache. Uh, Winsor Newton makes one. Arteza makes one. There's a whole bunch on the market. I'm afraid I don't know all of them. Uh, but what I mostly have here is I have a couple of whole binds mixed in, Winsor Newton and Arteza. I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit and give you an idea of what it looks like to use gouache in my artwork. So I'm going to start out and I'm just using, this is a Pilot Color Eno pink pencil. It's water soluble. I like to start with a drawing. You can just paint right away with it. Um, but however you like to start. So I'm just going to do a little bit of drawing. This is some flat matte acrylic. It's just a page where I swatched out some colors. I'm just going to work in on top of that.
Okay, so I've worked through with a little bit of gouache. I added in some watercolor pencil and some Stabilo, like I would normally with watercolor, but I was able to layer and add colors on top of colors and change colors like I would with acrylic. So really, gouache is a lovely product that's a little bit different and lots of fun. I hope you had a nice time doing a little bit of artwork with me or watching and happy arting and I'll see you again next time.